Hey guys, welcome back to UChat tutorial. In this video, I'm showing you how to use JavaScript function in UChat. So JavaScript function is in action steps, and you can use it to boost your features, logic, complicate operation by coding, rather than using a bunch of steps, editing them, uh, setting everything. For developers, that would become a lot less effort and more time saving. Now let me show you how to with a rock, paper, scissor example. So this is one of our WeChat templates. So in the template, both first get a input from user, rock, paper, or scissors, and then store them in variable. And then this action is to get a random selection for the bot. So you need to first load uh, paper, scissor, rock to the JSON, and then shuffle it, and then get the first item. And then you print the result for the bot. And here are the most complicated steps in this game. Uh, in order to get uh, one of the result, win, draw, or lose, you will have to list all nine, all nine situation. So all the way from rock, scissor, rock, 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 paper, to the end, scissor, paper, scissor, scissor. And then you have nine connectors to uh, go to three different results. So this is how you build a game if you only go with steps and connectors. Now I'll show you with JavaScript function, it could be a lot easier. So, so we only have three steps. So as, except from the user input and the send message step to show the result, everything can be included in one action step in a JavaScript function. Now in the question step, I put a choice question, so user can only choose from either rock, paper, or scissor, and when they choose rock, I, I put zero in the user choice variable, and when they choose paper, I put one, when scissor, I put two. And then, uh, if they are not choosing from one of these three options, I will show wrong input, please try again, so that we can make sure the, uh, the number that stored in user choice is either 0, 1, or 2. And in the action step, let's go advanced action, then JavaScript function. Edit it. So here we have three sections in the JavaScript function. So on the top is the input section. So here is where you list all the input and to be parameters. And then in the middle is the function itself, and then you um, what you get from the function, the result, you map it back to uh, customer view so that you can uh, show it in the same message step. Okay, let's get started. So the only input for this function is user's choice. I will get this parameter from user choice. Okay, and then in the function, so the first thing we need to do is get a random selection for the bot. So far, bot equal to Mm, M A T S random so by using this function we are getting a float from zero to one and I multiply three so that I can get a float from uh, zero to three and then I want an integer rather than a float so so let's use a float function from Matt to get an integer either zero one or two just like the user input. Okay, now condition, if user equal to all, then return draw. Else if bot plus one, mod three, equal to zero, or equal to user, then return you win because uh, whatever the bot choose if the user is one larger than the bot then user win okay so else return you lose yeah that's pretty simple and finally oh you can use the green button to test okay you lose you lose, you lose, you lose. Oh, we haven't given a test value to user, for example, user plays paper. So that's one. And then test, you win, you win, you draw, you win. Yeah, you lose, okay. You can try it. And what if I uh, wanted to show the selection of the bot? You can return 
a JSON. So, you, for example, you have a result to hold the result. Okay, so then you can uh, return it here. And also the result of bot. How can I show uh, the result of the bot? Because now it's either 0, 1, 2 in the bot. You can have a option list to list to list all the possible option rock paper scissors and then options bot. Yeah let's test it. Okay so so user always play paper and when the bot plays rock user win. Okay when the so scissor over uh, paper, so user lose. Okay, perfect. And now you can store the results in a result variable. Add, and then the board selection to uh, board choice. Add. Okay, save it. And then in the same message step, you're going to firstly print board result and then the final result. Okay, let's test it. Publish. Okay, let's play rock, paper, scissors, make your selection. I would like to choose scissors. Okay, so the board plays paper and I win. Try again. I play rock this time. Well, board play paper so or I lose. Moreover, in the JavaScript function, you can also import library. For example, Lodash, you can check documentation, for example, for um, to get a random number, I can search from the documentation random. Now I see here is a function. With this function, I can get an integer between 0 and 5. Yeah, that's good. Let me try it here. So now I'm trying to get the integer from 0 to 2. So yeah, that's, you get the same result with more uh, in a more efficient way. Yeah, that's all about JavaScript function. Thank you for watching this video. If you have any question, please comment below and see you next time.